If you haven't got loads of time to cook, try this 15 to 20 minutes teriyaki salmon with a beautiful bok choy and whole wheat noodle. Most important thing is you're gonna get yourself some good quality sustainable salmon. Now for our teriyaki sauce, you can't get much simpler than this. You can, by all means, you can buy a jar of teriyaki if you want, but to be honest with you, most of these are standard ingredients and it is so, so simple to make. So into your mixing bowl, you're gonna add two large tablespoons of honey. Tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. I've got one and a half tablespoons of sesame oil, about a centimeter of grated ginger, about one and a half teaspoons of chopped garlic or one and a half cloves of chopped garlic, the juice of one lime. As always, give that a good roll backwards and forwards, making sure you get all those juices out of there. Now, usually with teriyaki sauce, you've got our soy sauce, because that gives it that beautiful sort of dark coloring. So one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. Give that a good stir around. Let's get your pan up to heat. Into your hot pan, you're gonna go in with a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Well, it just brings out some of the flavours. Right, they're nicely browned off. Just gonna put them into a bowl just to one side for when we actually serve this one up. Some good quality salmon. So skin side down, just gonna lay them down in a non-stick pan. You're looking at about five minutes for every inch thick piece of fish. It's about two and a half minutes either side. Then just take it off the heat and let it, the residual heat just carry on through. And we'll take half of our mixture and you're just gonna literally just drench that just over the top until we will get some of those bubbles and some of that sugar starts to caramelise down. As soon as we've got some colour on there, we're going to flip these over and then the rest of our sauce can just go around the outside. I love recipes like this. It's just so simple. You look at about 15 to 20 minutes from going into the pan to going into your plate. I'm going to transfer that to the oven at 180 Celsius for around two to three minutes while we get on with our noodles and our bok choy. Right, bok choy. These have already been cleaned. Just going to take your knife and cut that all the way down. Now I kind of like to leave these exactly as they are. And you want that to really just go nice and crisp just on the outside and nice and crunchy still in the centre. So it only going to take about three to four minutes cooking time. Into your pan you're going to add a light splash of your sesame oil again. And then into your pan you're going to introduce some of your bok choy. A little sprinkle of salt. So you're just looking at it for it's wilting just slightly but you don't want to lose too much of that crunch. So do not overcook these. There's nothing worse. I'm going to go in here with our noodles. Now use whatever noodles you want. We're using some whole wheat today. Good mix through. Back out the oven with your salmon. I'm going to introduce just a little bit of that sauce just into the, the actual noodles themselves. I mean the smell from that is incredible because you've got that, the nuttiness from the sesame oil. You've got that little twang of the sweetness from the honey as well. It smells incredible in here. So there you go. Two to three minutes, that's done. Do not overcook this. Take it off the heat and serve this one up. Just going to slide that out into the middle of your bowl. We take our two gorgeous salmon fillets. I'm going to finish that off with our gorgeous toasted sesame, just all around the outside. And then just for an extra little bit of heat, we're just going to go over here with whatever red chili you want to choose. I'm going in there with quite a hot Thai chili. And that just finishes that perfect, that lovely little bit of heat in there. That is my 15 minute teriyaki salmon with bok choy and whole wheat noodles. If you get recreating this one, which I hope you do, because that is such a simple, tasty, healthy midweek dish. Hashtag me at Hayes Kitchen as always, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye.